When iOS 12 rolled out on your iPhone, you may have noticed that it's now no longer possible to record a video on your iPhone, click share, and upload it directly to YouTube. This video will show you an alternative workflow. The first thing you need to do is go to the App Store and download the YouTube app to your iPhone. You may notice that there are several YouTube apps. So be sure to download the one titled YouTube Watch Listen Stream. Once the app is downloaded, open it on your iPhone. If it's the first time opening the app, you will be prompted to log in to your YouTube account and you will also be prompted to grant access to your photos area and your microphone. Once you've done that, click on the camera icon at the top of the app. Locate the video that you'd like to share and click on it. Okay, so in this step, you've got a couple of options. If it's good to go, just click next on the upper right corner. But if you'd like to edit it by trimming the beginning maybe a couple seconds off the beginning and maybe a couple seconds off the end, you can do that. If you click the middle icon at the bottom, it'll give you an option to change some of the settings and apply different filters. The last icon is to add music. So if you'd like to add some music into the background of your video, you can click on the music icon Scroll and listen to some of the samples and then click the blue plus icon if you want to add one of the songs. I'm going to leave the music off and select next in the upper right corner. Give my video a title. You can choose to give it a description if you'd like. And under the privacy area, you can click the default and choose how you'd like your video to be shared. If you choose public, that means that anyone on the web can search for and view your video. And if someone comes directly to your YouTube channel, it will be listed. If you choose unlisted, it means that a person will need a link to your video to view it or have access to a web page in which it's been embedded. For example, your Canvas course. Also, if you choose unlisted, that means that if someone comes to your YouTube channel, they're not going to see the video. And if they search for it online, they won't find it. If you choose private, it means that only you can view it. So that's not the best option for teaching. For this example, I'm going to choose public. If you'd like your geographical location to be visible when someone views your video, you can choose that option at the bottom. I generally just leave that off. So I'm done now. I'm going to click upload in the upper right corner. At this point, your video will start uploading and then it's going to process. The amount of time this takes is going to depend on the size of your video. So if you record it in HD and if your video is longer, those two factors will increase the size of your video. If you're using a purely mobile workflow like I am here, keep your video as short as possible. Also, it's critical that you are connected to Wi-Fi when you do this step. While your video is processing, be sure you keep the YouTube app open. If you move to other apps, the processing might stall. So it's been about seven minutes and my video is uploaded and 91% processed. Keep in mind, this is only a one minute and 15 second video. Last night when I tested a one minute video, it only took a few minutes. So there are a lot of variables at play with your upload and processing time, including the number of people who are uploading videos to YouTube. So be patient. So my video finished processing. That took about eight minutes. You'll notice that I don't see it anymore. So don't panic. If you place your finger at the top of your screen and swipe down, it'll reload your video list and that video will appear. I don't know why it does that, but that's just a helpful tip. Now my video is public on YouTube.